All right, here we are on trail. Out in the fresh snow from this past week. Um, you can see Diff Deep. Diff Deep powder is awesome. But here we are. Going to go back in here on this trail. A few miles. I'm solo. No, can't get anyone to go out these days when conditions are like this. Uh, I'm going to go back in here. Play around a bit in this fresh powder. We got more snow coming in the forecast today. Uh, maybe even a, as much as another foot of snow um, between today and the next couple days. So uh, it should be pretty good going in. Um, might be coming back out in some fresh snow. But uh, we'll make a day of it. Um, spectacular out here. It's warmed up to about 20 degrees right now. So uh, perfect wheeling conditions. You got to take it when you get it. So uh, here we go. Yeah, we're rolling along pretty good. Spectacular back in here. Winter wonderland. See, we're pushing a little bit of snow. All these uh, trees are bent over from having all the snow on them. But uh, the old Defender's doing good. Getting right down in it. Spectacular. All right, we made it to the destination that I wanted to make it to. Fantastic. Um, cruising along pretty good back there in the woods until you run into some muddy spots that aren't frozen yet. And yeah, you know, I spent probably an hour messing around. Um, I jacked the front up and winched kind of at the same time. Kind of a two-part deal there and uh, picked my way through a couple gnarly spots. but. Front end's all packed with mud now. Uh, I'm going to knock some of this crap off and, and clean up some of the rig and then uh, grab something to eat. Yeah, other than that, we got some snow coming in. 
and uh, this is a fantastic area. I'm overheated, so I gotta um, change out some clothes, stay dry, and uh, chip some of that frozen mud off the front and get the rig kind of cleaned up. It's uh, crazy when you're out here like this and, you know, foot of snow, and, you know, it's been below zero for a week. Um, you know, super cold out, and then you still find unfrozen ground. It's, it's crazy. And those are always the, the deepest spots because they're, you know, they're like six foot wide little ditches, you know, and they're, they're super deep. Um, buggies get in there and wallow them out. And uh, thank God this little rig, you know, it's so light and uh, it's easy to work with, you know, when you get stuck like that. Um, bigger rig stuck in a hole like that and you're here for hours, if not all night. So, uh, yep, got a little work to do and uh, before I get something to eat.